Hey everyone, it is Josh here with HostGator, and today I'm excited to show you how to update your cPanel and WHM version on your VPS or dedicated server. As with almost everything in web hosting, it's always important to keep your server up to date, and cPanel is always pushing out patches and updates to make sure that everything is working exactly as it should on your server. Today, I'll show you how to check which version you're currently on and how to update it. As always, if you like the content that we're making, give it a like on YouTube, let us know in the comments below what you think, and subscribe if you want to see more. But if you're ready to go, let's get started! We'll kick things off today in our WHM. As I mentioned before, this is only a process that you'll have to do on your VPS or dedicated server. If you have a reseller account with a WHM with us, don't worry, our system administrators will take care of it for you. The first thing we can do is check which version we're currently on. If you look up here in the right hand corner, you'll see that you have your CentOS version here and also the V and then a series of numbers. That's your current cPanel version. You'll also see your server's load averages over here to the right. If you have a lot of things going on in your server right now, it may be a good time to wait until things cool off a little bit and then go forward with the upgrade. You can also choose to do this upgrade late at night or perhaps when you have very low traffic on your server just to make sure there's no issues. Down here just a little bit further, you'll actually see that cPanel and WHM is telling you there's a brand new version available and it's giving you the option to click update now. Before we do that, I wanna show you how to check out your update preferences. Over here on the left hand side, let's go to the search bar and type in update. Underneath the server configuration tab, you can see we have update preferences. Let's click there. Here in the update preferences section, we can see a bit more information about exactly how we'd like cPanel to treat these updates in the future. There's some great documentation here that I'll leave in the description below, but let's go over a few of the things that we're seeing. The first box here shows our currently installed cPanel and WHM version. As you can see, that matches the one we saw earlier in our top right hand corner. Down here a little further, we can actually select the release tier used for updating cPanel WHM. Note that the default selection is stable, but you also have the option for LTS, which is long-term support, release, which is the recommended version from cPanel, and you also have current and edge, which are a little bit more cutting edge and could put you on a newer version of cPanel if you like. I personally love the stable release version. I know it's well tested and it's widespread in use, so we're gonna stick with that one today. If you make a selection to change it here, just scroll down to the bottom and click save. Now that we know our release tier, let's head over here to the left-hand side, we still have updates selected inside of our text box, so let's click Upgrade to Latest Version. Now this is the fun part. cPanel is actually going to do everything for you, so all you really need to do is click Click to Upgrade, and it'll go through that process for you. Once you're ready to go, go ahead and click that button, and we'll get started. Note up here at the top that it's going to be upgrading to the latest stable build. That's the exact release tier that we chose last time, so let's go through the process. Now based on your version of cPanel, this could take some time, so I'll go ahead and pause the video here, and we'll reconvene as soon as it's done. Okay, great. cPanel has completed the upgrade and that took about five minutes on my end. Now it can take longer depending on the version that you have, but as you can see here, it's completed all the updates. And of course there's a log here available inside of your server if you ever want to view the information about the update. Now that we're done here, let's head back to the main page by clicking on the WHM icon. As you can see here, the next time I log into WHM or if I refresh and click it, it's going to ask me to agree to the terms and services again. We can go ahead and click agree to all. Every time cPanel goes to a new version, it's always going to show you some of the new features in a showcase. So it'll have some spotlights here, some recommended features. You can choose to enable these if you like, or just simply click exit to WHM. And we'll click close. And now if we check up here at the top, we can see 9.4.0.8. That's our new cPanel version, and we're officially done. And that about wraps it up for updating cPanel and WHM on your VPS and dedicated server. I hope you found this video helpful. As always, if you like the content that we're making, give it a like on YouTube, let us know what you think in the comments below, and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks y'all!